Ashley Pivine from Path Resorts and I'm at Gusto right here in downtown Center Harbor and I'm with Nick and Elena, the owners. Hi guys. Hi everybody. How's it going? Doing great. Good. Doing great. Happy to be here. I know that you guys are relatively new. You've been here a little over a year. Can you tell us uh, your story, how you came here and what you guys are all about? I'm originally from Guilford, just across the lake there. Um, but um, Elena moved here from Italy about five years ago. Um, I met her there actually we met on a train and uh, we we're going back and forth um, she moved here we got married we lived in a few different places like colorado and boston and we saw this place and thought it'd be a good opportunity to open up a restaurant and follow our dream that sounds incredible and did you guys choose uh, center harbor for any specific reason i'm sure since you're from you're locally nick you um, might have been to the area before i've always loved um this side of the lake like this north side of the lake um but we didn't really choose it. We didn't really choose it. It just kind of this came available, and um, we we were just worried about you know what if we didn't do it. It was one of those things. So we just said, hey, let's um, let's start a restaurant, and so we can call something our own. It's incredible, and it seems to be working out well for you guys. And this is a prime location, and I can imagine during the summer season, it's it just was actually incredible. for the tiles because we came here. <laughs> and I take off a tile from the floor and I see this beautiful red Toscany tile and I say, that's my home. That's incredible. <laughs> so this reminded you of home. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh we my gosh. As much as we can just to really make sure that people back in Toscany, if they've never been there, or they have an actually 100% experience like what yeah. Toscany is. That is incredible. <laughs> I've never been to Italy, but just walking in your front doors yeah. here, I feel like I'm there. I did see that you guys had a lot of offerings in there. You have pastas, you had pizza, you had desserts. What What is your prime offering? What do you I guys would say? Your focaccia is the things that is more famous right now. It's Nicola's homemade bread that it's really gorgeous and good. But we do we yeah. do everything, you know. Elena's Elena's doing all the baking um, right now. Um, she's doing it all herself, basically. We're all kind of uh, going in on it. But yeah, fresh pasta. We make the bread for our sandwiches every morning. Um, sauces, all the stuff like that. So yeah. it's authentic. <laughs> That's awesome. And I heard a lot of people in there ordering coffee. Can you tell me a little bit about your coffee that you offer here? Well, what's up? pretty much a challenge for me come back to Italy and serve cold brew and iced coffee which is our all a kind of coffee that are not so famous in Italy so myself that I used to make a lot of cappuccinos in my days I had to study and I study with my employee and I study with the people that are helping us and we try now also to have the best coffee because it's Italian and it's 100% Arabica it's delicious but also to experiment it more and try to make everybody as happy also with an American like needs. Right. More ice coffee, more ice coffee. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to have to try some today. <laughs> and do you have any options for customers with dietary um, restrictions, like any gluten free or anything like that? We do. We do. We really actually try to give everybody a choice. For dessert, we always offer at least five items that are always gluten free, as well with pasta and as well with bread, which being like more challenge. Nicholas has been trying and trying to make the perfect focaccia. And I think we are really close to <laughs> because people now want to buy our gluten free bread, right? Which is really a pleasure for us because it's just the result of our hard work. So. Yeah, yeah, that it's sounds incredible. Free and our soup are always vegan, so we try to do as many vegan options as well. One of our most famous panino is vegan as well. It's a street food from Palermo, from Sicily. So yes, there's a few options for eggs options. free, yeah. yeah, dairy free as well. So yeah, that's great. Right, and I'm sure everyone appreciates that too. So, so literally far, so anybody good. can come in and <laughs> try something here. That's perfect. As well as some keto. Um, we, we're trying to uh, introduce keto. You know, because a lot of people, um, you know, even there's, there's potatoes and something, we're trying to leave that out, do a keto quiche. She's doing some keto desserts uh -huh. for those people that are dieting wow. that way. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. I noticed that you guys had uh, some live entertainment today. Do you often have live entertainment here? We, we try to as much as we can, especially on the weekends. David particularly has been here like since the beginning. Him and his wife started the first time, her with the tambourine. Oh. He's solo now, but he's just the best. Like he's it was, plays Italian ballads. He's 
It's He's the man. Sounded great. I, I mean, I could stay in there all day just listening yeah. to him. <laughs> Makes the food He's taste the better. One, right? He's not the only one. No, we've had um, Sal play. He's a he's a keyboard player, um, bass player. We've had, um, and we hope to have plenty more in the future. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it plenty just more. Feels that uh, Italian feel in there. I, I see that. That's what you're uh, basing your musical options off of. It. That's yeah. what I sense, at least. Yeah. <laughs> and what are your uh, current hours of operation? I know that. You guys are closed a couple days a week. Do you plan to uh, remain that way throughout the busy season, summer season, or do you um, have any plans? I think so. I think so. Um, Friday and Saturday evenings, we're gonna try to you know stay open later, offer like more of like a dinner setting for people, like especially on the weekends, yeah, Friday and Saturday night. Maybe stay open until eight, have some music, yeah. a little more wine and beer options um, for those people. But mainly the the same hours, I would say. Right. Monday is. You know, a breather. Tuesday, we're in the kitchen all day. So mm -hmm. yeah, yep, <laughs> getting ready. <laughs> yeah. and, and maybe some classes and some wine tasting. If we will yeah, be able, especially. that will be the goal. Like soon as possible, just to answer to the a lot of questions, a lot of questions that people has about uh, our way to cook, and I can really wait to share with yeah. them. We did a few classes last year before COVID, and it was just sensational. So we waited like to be back at the yeah. groups and her mom that. came from italy wow. when she was visiting that's when we had the first class so oh that's incredible was she <laughs> was she hosting it or yes. did she just oh she my gosh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow that's so cool sign me up <laughs> yeah, really Scotty and lasagna. Yeah. that's incredible that i did one. notice um quite the wine selection in there too that you guys have yeah do you plan to um i noticed on facebook that you guys announced that you're opening a gusto market do you plan to carry that at the market or anything um that you want to talk about for the upcoming market well the upcoming market is a little of our small dream because we realized during last summer that the place that we were giving to uh, our retail space wasn't enough to die to give to people what they were needing and so we saw this small place and it's so close to us and we decide just to make the request a little bigger so there we're gonna have all the ingredients that we use for your sandwich for the pasta there they will be just ready and easy to grab as well with wine uh, our dream is just to make people a little more knowledge about the land where I come and where Nicholas comes to so people will be able to do a small travel through wine from the north of Italy which is full of wine through the Sicily with fantastic wine as well of course stopping in Tuscany where we're gonna have like a deep uh, uh, amount of wine from there of course yes, yeah. yes. but we'll be <laughs> selling everything there like the pastas the sauces we'll Everything we get from Italy, like our, our cheese and prosciutto, salami, everything like that, oil, we hope to sell at the new place. Wow, that's incredible. So when we send our guests right over across the street from yep. the Center Harbor, we can tell them, hey, not only do they have the cafe, stop over at their market and get their offerings as well. Yeah, they can that's bring the a charcuterie in their room. Yes, exactly. <laughs> bring it right back to your room. Like Enjoy. Or, or on we the boat. Before. On the yeah. boat, in the room. On the boat, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for meeting with me today. I can't wait to have our guests come over whenever they get the chance. And I'm also going to come over when I get the chance as well. Absolutely. <laughs> In five yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah right <laughs> now. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Ciao. Ciao.